what are we doing? Hypothesis testing. What is this? This is an introduction. Oh, you wanted to just stop, did you? I guess I can't write two things at the same time. This is an introduction to hypothesis test, yes. What are we doing? And what else is this video gonna be about? This video is gonna be about setting up the null and the alternative. Yeah. So we're gonna be setting up the null and the alternative. Some books use A. Anyway, with hypothesis testing, you're gonna have a two-tailed test and a one-tailed test. And yes, you are going off the distributions. This test is two-tailed, and that's for not equal to. This one's two-tailed. T-A-I-L-E-D, something like that. And then you're going to have one tail. That says tail, clearly. I don't know what happened. It was supposed to be a dog. <laughs> That's a great dog. Next time you next time you see your mom, next time you see your mom, tell her this place smells like up dog. <laughs> then your mom's gonna look at you and be like, What's up dog? You're like, Not much mom. Not much mom. <laughs> These are one tailed tests. That's a right tailed <laughs> test. And then this one is a left tailed test. A left tailed test. So this one's right. Are we keeping you up, Claudia? Yeah. And then left tail. Those are two tests. So, here our null, H O, says that mu is equal to some stated value. This one over here, our HO, says that mu is less than a value. Here, our HO says that mu is greater than some value. And we get to reject that null if our test stat or p-value lie in these regions. Reject, reject, R -E -J -E -C -T. reject, reject. And this one's reject. If it lies bigger than that value, they claim that it's smaller than some value, but if we're able to show that it's actually bigger than some value, we'll be like, liar, 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 and put some pants on this dog. No, we don't want to burn pet puppy. Let's do a couple of these. Whoa. In 13. Here in number 13. 13. Boom. The claim is that three-fourths of the adults believe that it is important to be involved in their communities. Based on this Gallup poll of a bunch of people... 98% of people believed that it's important to be involved in their communities. Dun dun dun! What are we testing? A proportion? Yes, we're testing a proportion. We're testing a proportion. Absolutely. We're setting up the null and the alternative. So if we're testing the proportion, are we going to use mu? Are we going to use sigma? Sigma squared? Or p? P! p. p. What's their claim? This is HO. Or no. What's their claim? Three-fourths of all adults believe that it's important to be involved in the community. So yeah, boom. Point. 
what? 0.75. Now since this null is equal to, they could be wrong on the low side and they could be wrong on the high side. This is two-tailed. So our alternative hypothesis is that P is, if it's not equal to, what is it? If it's not equal to, then it could be greater or it could be smaller. So our alternative is not what you say it is. So not equal to point seven five. And if you were looking at this on a picture, woo, woo, this would be two-tailed because the rejection region could be low and the rejection region could be high. In this video, all we're doing is we're setting up the null and all alternative. Because sometimes the hard part is the start. Let's look at 14. Here in 14, I don't know what happened to that 14. It was off to a good start. Bam, bam, boom. 14, tax returns. The claim is, among those who file returns, less than one half of them... through an accountant or other tax professional. Ah, I need to freaking brush up on my reading skills. The claim, among people who file tax returns, it's a comma, I pause. Less than one half of them through an accountant or other professional. Oh, so we can set up our HO. What's their claim? There's a directional word in there. Okay, P, because it's a proportion. Their claim is P is? Less than 0.5. Boom! That's their claim. What's our, alter our, 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 our alternative? It's greater than or equal to 0.5? Yes. I should leave myself some room for P. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna say, the the null gets the equals. Okay. Now this is a one-tailed test. This is a one-tailed test. Woo, woo, and it goes the way the alternative is. This is a one-tailed, right-tailed. One-tailed, right-tailed. We know which tail because of the rejection region. Reject, 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 reject. The direction of the tail is based on the rejection region. Like this was two-tailed because you could reject, 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 reject. Let's do some more examples of setting up the null and alternative. Because sometimes the hard part is the start. I've got two more here and it's separated. 15 on top. Psh. Number 15. Okay. The claim for adult females. The standard deviation of their white blood cell counts is equal to 5.0. Oh! So yeah, what's my no? Uh, sigma or it's the standard deviation yeah, sure. that sigma is five equal to five. Boom. So all our alternative is one, two, three, not it. All our alternative, what's not five? That says sigma is um sigma not, five. not five. So that's gonna be two tailed because mm -hmm. it could be wrong to the low and wrong to the high. It could be not five, I mean it's higher, or it could be not five. I mean, it's lower. Reject, 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 reject. Reject, 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 reject. Okay. Let's do 16. 16. We're setting up our null and all alternative. It's hard to say. In 16, the claim is, for adult females, the mean of their white blood cell count is 8. What's our null? This is 16. It's mu. Yeah, because we're doing averages or means. We're dealing with mu's. So our null 
is mu is what? Equal to 8. Equal to 8. Great. You know what? Audible. Blue, 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 16. <laughs> hunt, 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 hunt. I'm going to scratch out equal, and I want to put greater. Do I do greater or greater? Greater. Yeah, that's right. So I need to scratch out two also. Boom. Okay, audible. How does this change? How does this change our null? Mu is greater than or equal to eight. Yeah, okay, good. So the claim is, for females, <coughs> the mean bl white blood cell count is greater than or equal to 8. We totally change that problem, and we say that it is what they say it is. So then, so then, so then, all our alternative is less than 8. And you is less than 8. Less than 8. Great. So that's a one-tailed test. Which tail? Right tail, left tail? Left tail. It's left tail. Why? Because if we can show that it's less than 8, reject, 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 reject. Good times? And that's how you set up your null and your alternative. The hard part is the start. There's also a little summary about confidence intervals.